Hi guys, welcome to the channel Ecoholics. Today we are going to learn the basics of microeconomics. But before that, let's put focus on who coined these terms micro and macro. So the terms micro and macro were coined by Ragnar Frisch, an economist, in the year 1933. So after this quick dose of facts, let's jump to the basics of microeconomics. Another economist, Lionel Robbins, stated clearly that economics in fact is a science which studies human behavior as a relationship between ends and scarce resources. Scarce resources. And these scarce resources have alternative uses. So from this definition, Lord Robbins want to suggest that economics is in fact a science which would study the human behavior which is quite dynamic in nature as a relationship between ends and scarce resources. Now these ends, what are these ends exactly? These ends are, if I say, these ends are the unlimited wants. Unlimited wants of a man. The ends are the unlimited wants of a man and from where would he satisfy the unlimited wants? From the limited or scarce resources. Now friends, this concept itself is the problem of scarcity and that is why in economic terms, Leonard Robbins has given this definition of scarcity to make us all understand the concept or the problem of scarcity in economics. Now quickly, let's move to the next concept. The next concept is the concept or the fundamental concept, fundamental problem of choices that we make. Now what are these choices? For example, you go to the market with some money in your pocket and you have to purchase two goods or just this is a hypothetical example. So now if you want to purchase a very good game which costs you 700 rupees and on the other hand you have to purchase a very nice gift for your parents for their upcoming anniversary uh, which is costing 750 rupees and you have 1000 rupees in your hand now think about it these choices these kind of choices you make every day in your life for example it's a very fun fact that all these students would probably like to go to the mall or uh, to a sports club or to watch a game of football more frequently than probably doing something a little serious. This is a hypothetical example by the way. But yes, uh, just for humor. So the students, now this one student want, wants to go to watch a game of football but simultaneously tomorrow is his exam of mathematics now what should he choose should he go to this football game that would happen once in a year opportunity or of course he would give his exam because of course we all need to clear our exams with good marks and so that it our career blooms so now these as a matter of fact, is the problem of choice. These choices we make every day. And the choices that we make every day to choose one thing over the other is called as trade-off. 